How you doing everybody? My name is Kinesis and welcome back to Subnautica. Okay, so I just did a little bit of stuff. Um, I got myself my reinforced dive suit so I shouldn't burn to death anymore. Uh, shouldn't. Um, if you see where I'm going, I'm going to a little place that I titled Hell's Gate because it looks like the gates of hell. Yay! We're going there! Why? I don't know! It's just... <laughs> Anyway, I, I can't really tell you about it, but it's really cool, and I'm showing you how to get there so you can find it yourself. Um, so if you want to kind of just observe, um, that would be advisable. Um, uh, basically, I'm going towards the southwest of the map. I can't tell you exactly the direction that I'm going from the safe shallows because, frankly, I can't remember. I haven't seen this before. One moment. Is there something nice in here, perhaps? Oh, I assume that's a no-no. That's a big ol' no. Doesn't look like it. Is there something in here? Come on. And there's nothing in here. Okay. Oh, I got some water. That's always nice. Well, that was just a waste of yours and my time. Oh, that looks lovely. Ooh. 30 seconds. Oh my god! Totally worth it! It's always worth it. It's always worth it for the shot. Ooh, that guy's infected. He's not having a good day. Alright, so you come to this southernmost place. Now, if I can be horribly specific, you see that? That, well, that was supposed to be the uh, the wreck that is spawned here, but I may have glitched it out of existence. Sorry. Um, but yes, so, uh, Hell's Gate is in this direction, and I have dubbed it that because it's terrifying, and I think it's awesome. And you're gonna love this. We're coming up on it. So, the cool thing about Subnautica is that it tends to have a lot of cool, like, things that you can find. And this is by far the coolest thing I have ever found. Look at this. This is a gigantic crater with a fucking meteor in the middle. Isn't that awesome? That is so cool. I am... Oh, God, I am fucking fanboying about a meteor from space. But that's not the best part of all this. Look at what we have here. And here we are at the next cache. It's so exciting! Oh, my God! Was that supposed to happen? Can you like not, sir? Thank you. I wonder if that was scripted, because that was kind of interesting that an infected sand shark just kind of came after me. Anyway, I'll take you, and you, and I'll be with you in just a moment. I'll be with you. And, oh god, he's coming after me. Alright, got the data, got the data. Alien biological history. Ooh, color me intrigued. You can fuck off, sir. Okay. So, this terminal contains some data mapping the complete biological history of a member of the alien species. The data set is hugely complex, but some basic facts can be reconstructed. It was grown from a seed... 1,708 Earth years ago. It was separated from its broodlings early for special training, inducted into the Temple of Research as the youngest ever initiate, age 96. Okay, so they age very slowly, and they mature very slowly. Downloaded a corrupted data set and was stored for three years for refactoring, relocated to the outer galaxy cluster to support disease research endeavors, Re relocated to this planet for high-priority disease research, contracted carabacterium, stored in Sanctuary 3, corporeal body safely disposed. So its consciousness is in that computer. That's so cool! Oh, I should probably take that, uh... 
take that back. Because I'll probably need it. But now we know about Hell's Gate. Or Sanctuary B. I mean, C. B? C? C. B? B. Sanctuary 3. Alright, cool. So now the la. The last one is somewhere out there. And you are importante. You are mine. Aha, uh -huh, you can't get me. Alright, cool. Now I have the thermal plant. That'll probably come in handy much later. I intend on building a base down in the lava zone uh, that I can, you know, I, I like having just two nice, big, strong bases because that always makes uh, makes things easier to, you know, kind of go between the two and have the Cyclops being the, uh, the most uh, uh, used one of them all. Oh, God, please. Thank you. I don't think I've done anything to actually, uh to actually get the Cyclops yet. Oh, geez, I haven't. Oh, man, that sucks. Oh, I think I need to actually get a little bit at, get a little bit of that done on in such case. Oh, can you not? These fish, it's, it's like they don't see me. It's like, hey, I'm swimming-y. Hey, I'm swimming-y. It's like the New York Bronx accent has just become like the, the common vernacular of all the human race by the time uh, this game takes place. <laughs> that would actually kind of be awesome. Just if everyone talked like that. Yeah, I'm walking here. I create you. Okay. All right, guys. So we have a rebreather. We have a fiber mesh suit. We have uh, the Cyclops. I did it like that. That is the SS... Um, I, I chose its colors so that it would blend in with uh, the Sea Dragon Leviathan. You know, hopefully it will uh, not attack us then. Um, where is my sea moth? I also have a prawn suit, but it doesn't have any of the wow. useful attachments, so I'm actually going to wait on getting that. But what we are going to do is we are going to find this last cache. That's what we're going to do this episode, and then next time we're going to try and dive deeper, see what is new because I do believe an update is in store, and I'm trying to set everything up so that we can just go and check everything out. Oh, hi. All right, so it is known that it is somewhere here in the Sparse Reef. Now, I'm actually a little unsure of the purpose of the Sparse Reef, other than just to exist. Well, that's definitely not it. Is this, is this it? Did I already find it? This feels kind of cavey. Oh, shit. Well, okay. That was a lot easier than I thought it would be. Alrighty. Let us. Oh, cool. This is just so neat. I'm, I'm, it's pretty neat, it's pretty neat. Alrighty. Do not be a waste of my time. Yeah, nothing attacked me, so that's always good. Whoa, six of them. Alien Sanctuary A. So we found it. We found Alien Sanctuary A. This is good, I think. Um, let's read up what the uh, data has to say. The structures... Oh, the antechamber where this data set was discovered has been identified as some form of Alien Sanctuary. 
The structures mounted to the ceiling of the cavern cast a low green light over the data hubs below, but they are also regulating the pH level of the surrounding water and emitting a low frequency sound wave. It is possible the intent was to ensure ideal conditions for some practical end, but their purpose may also have been ceremonial or even recreational in nature. Like much of the alien architecture discovered here on this planet, the design is ornate. The ion crystals mounted on the pedestals are not being drained of power, suggesting they serve some more symbolic purpose. Similarities to old Earth religious iconography may be coincidental, but they may also indicate some shared and ancient cultural history. Assessment of further data acquired. Hmm. So, it appears that we are comparing the that we're comparing the precursors to humans. And that's just silly to look at. <laughs> I wonder though, is like, you know, where does, where do, where, blah, 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 blah. I don't know, you know? Well, you don't know, but I don't know. <laughs> God, I'm so bad at English. Ugh, creepy sounds. I just... I, I wonder, what, why did the precursors evolve the way they did? They seem to be almost beings of extreme intelligence. And that makes me wonder, you know, how did they come to be? How did they exist in this, in this universe? You know, because they talked about their corporeal body, but they had advanced to such a level that they were able to just be like, ah, you know, I'm dying, so let's just upload my consciousness into the fucking computer. You know, I'll be fine. Like, you know, I just, it's, it sounds crazy. Yeah, so all of that going on, uh, I think I'm going to end this episode here. Um, I'm going to see if I can't, uh, you know, get some more stuff done around here, but, uh, please don't do that. I'm going to see if I can, you know, get some things scanned, you know, visit this, uh, this broken down base in here, but, um, I think I'm going to have to save everything else for the next episode. So, thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please go kick tomorrow's ass, because if you don't, it's going to kick yours. And I cannot wait to see you on the next part of this adventure. And as always, oh, what's going on?